Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, it is currently 25 past 9, um, which means I'm about an hour behind where I want it to be today. <laughs> I basically woke up this morning at about 8am and I was planning to start my workout at half past 8 but I just listened to my body and my body told me I'm tired. Two nights ago now my house had sort of a mini night in um, so we went to bed quite late and honestly <laughs> we've not done one of those in a long time. Last semester we did them all the time but this semester we've just not been doing them because we've got so much work because hashtag third year. So that meant the next day I was pretty tired but I persevered but that next day was also the night of the Grammys which meant that I stayed up until 5am watching the Grammys and had to be up by nine for a seminar and I was doing work stuff as well so I was pretty tired yesterday. I sort of fell into a bit of a tired spot in the afternoon but then kind of woke up again and um, ended up watching like some BTS videos and then it was midnight and I fell asleep and now I am exhausted. <laughs> so I'm really really tired today but we're gonna get stuff done. Last week I had a really really good week. I was super super productive and I was super happy with how much I got done and I was feeling really good. But now we are about a week and a half away from the Easter holidays which is when shit gets real. So I'm getting a little bit worried about how much work I'm gonna have over Easter. I also recently took some advice from my friend and she said to me, have you had a day off? do you have a day where you don't do any work? And I said, no. I work every day from like nine till 10, um, <laughs> including the weekends. And she was like, hmm, maybe you should have a day off. And I was like, hmm, maybe you're right. Maybe there is something the matter with me. <laughs> so I've also started doing this thing where I'm giving myself Sundays off. And oh my God, it made a world of difference last week. I was so productive throughout the week. And then on Sunday, I just got to do my own thing and it was lovely. But as a result, yesterday, I was so tired from the Grammys that I just, didn't do anything either so I've had two days off. Today is the day I want to get back on track but also I'm focusing on completing my rings on my Apple watch. I'm always starting the day with a workout so that's what I'm gonna do of course everyone knows now I love myself a bit of Chloe Ting. I don't want to push myself but I do have work that I want to get done um, but I'm gonna start the day on my phone now. I've already been on my phone a bit. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, re-watched really Taylor Swift's Grammy performance because it was perfection. I'm just going to start now by rescheduling my day on Notion on my phone rather than getting my laptop out. I did plan my day out last night but um, obviously it's not gone to plan because I said I was going to start at half eight and it is now half nine. Okay, day is updated. I'm just still feeling really sleepy and just nice and cosy here. I'm just going to book a slot at the library for two days time because the way it's working at the minute at Sheffield Uni is that you can still go to the library to get work done which is really really nice but you can only book a maximum of two days before and all of the slots always sell out so I looked yesterday if I could try and book to go today not a single seat left in the entire library which is shit I'm gonna try and book now No, are you joking? It's already been taken. It's half past nine in the morning. Why? Why is the library like this? I just want to be able to do work. It's so frustrating. <gasps> okay. I've just managed to book one for Thursday morning. The seat I know I wanted was not available. But that's okay, I guess you've got to stay up till midnight if you want to go to the library now. <laughs> I'm so tired. I just feel like on days like today, when I do want to be productive and I do want to get stuff done, like I can still do that, but I think it's important not to push myself 
because otherwise I'm going to be struggling for the rest of the week as well and it's only Tuesday. As long as I can get my workout done today and as long as I go to a webinar that I've got booked at 1pm, those are the main things that I've got to do and I know I will get them done so it doesn't matter if it takes a bit longer. That's the kind of attitude I'm trying to have today. Another thing that I just find quite difficult is the fact that because I try and work out every morning or well, I mean I have rest days that means my day doesn't start until later which is fine and I prefer that because I know that if I leave to do it later in the day I won't do it or I'll work out and then I'll do nothing else after that so I know that for me doing it first thing in the morning works but I find it really frustrating when I see other people online who are already getting on with their days and have done so much work by, you know, 10am because I'm normally not ready until like 11. It's okay, it's all just about focusing on ourselves and not comparing ourselves to others. Right? <laughs> okay, time to get working on these rings. When you were younger, you didn't see things quite the same as you do now but now you're older you find that sometimes you wish you had stayed a clown never ever knowing whether you're coming or going and right now that sounds like Ray's idea I just finished Jesus Christ I'm so sweaty. <laughs> I think I did just under 300 calories, which was good, um, in about 40 minutes. So I'm very happy with that. My body feels more awake, which is good, which was the aim. So I think I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and grab a banana for my breakfast. It's a really, really nice day outside, so I wanna go for a walk later, because it looks really nice, like the sky is actually so blue. <laughs> I've been doing a thing on recommendation of my friend recently where you just come and have your cup of tea outside and it's so nice. It's particularly nice on days when I haven't had a workout and, um, and I'm up like really early and I come down for my cup of tea and it's cold outside. It sets you up so well for the day, I cannot even explain it. Got my nana, got my cup of tea, got my water um, and I'm just going to sit out here for a bit and listen to some music and just chill. But hey, let's not get down about being a clown Or running away from town Because you eat so well and your friends can tell Well when folks, it is ooh, 3 minutes past 12 and I'm finally ready for the day. I'm wearing my favourite camp t-shirt, the most baggy oversized thing ever and a pair of leggings because today Comfort is key. I've got about ooh, 50 minutes before I have to join a webinar that I need to film for work as well. So I'm just probably going to do some admin -y bits I think in this time. I was planning to get some other work done but it's not panned out and that's okay. I do think like a realistic morning routine for me is things going wrong and me starting work late. Like I do always still do my exercise. I do go out and have my cup of tea outside. And those are things that I'd normally see in a routine that I'd be like, oh, don't do them every day, do you? But I actually do. But as a result of those things, I'm really late to doing all my other things that I need to do, like important uni work. <laughs> it annoys myself that I'm like this because on days when I have a meeting or a seminar or a lecture at 10am, I will do everything that I've done this morning before 10 a.m. It is important to have days when you're super productive and on it. It's also important to have days where you do nothing at all. I completely think that's essential. But also, I think it's also okay to have these days in the middle where you're not fully productive and you're not doing absolutely nothing. There has to be a middle ground because we can't just be one or the other all the time. It's not that black and white. And I feel like it's not always made clear on the internet that that's a thing. So, um, that's how it is in my life anyway, I don't know if that reassures anyone else out there. But I'm going to stop rambling to you as a distraction and I'm going to get on with some admin. First admin task I'm going to do is take out my bin because I don't know about you but in the middle of a pepperoni pizza, as we currently are, I just put off the small tasks. I put off the small tasks like taking my bin out and then it ends up overpiling with 
Diet Coke cans and mini eggs that I was stress eating while I was watching the Grammys that made me get spots on my face. So I'm gonna take out the bin. Although I don't know if me using the excuse of the um, pepperami is actually the truth or if I just am lazy and don't like taking the bin out. Mission accomplished. I'm just taking my shoes off. Why is it just such an easy task to do? Literally takes 30 seconds but I put it off more than anything else in the world, I swear. Out of breath from <laughs> going up the stairs, uh, which doesn't bode well when I've been working out consistently for several weeks. I just forgot my bin bags aren't in there because I reorganised my desk in my last video. If anybody out there, oh, a lovely backlit shot here. If anybody out here has any uh, tips for cable management, please do let me know because this, this is a hot mess. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm currently trying to apply for a COVID support fund that the university have set up because I basically got my pay massively cut at the end of last year when everything kicked off and then lost my job. Uh, so I think I'm eligible to maybe get something. I'm not sure. I mean, if not, it's worth trying anyway because I did lose out on income. So I'm trying to do that, but then I was like, oh, it's almost time for the webinar I've got to go to. So I filmed the opening of the reel and then I clicked on to go do it and realized it starts at two, not at one. I really thought this application would take me 15 minutes, but it's taken me like over an hour so far. I'm trying to find an access pay slips that I've never had to access before and calculate how much money I missed out on. Finish, finally done, oh my goodness, it's now 20 to two, that took so long. Again, rolling with the punches. This is not going according to my plan, but we keep moving. I might go and grab lunch quickly now and then join the webinar, which should be really good. It's about um, how international work, working abroad can help your employability, which I'm really interested to hear about because I always kind of thought if I went and worked abroad for a bit, employees would look down on it. So I'm interested to see what they have to say about it. Anyway, lunch. I think I'm gonna have eggs. I have eggs all the time for lunch. I'm a little bit obsessed, but what form of eggs? I think I'll have boiled eggs. Oh, I hope my bread's not mouldy. Are you mouldy? No, lovely. What a pleasant surprise. So my mum got me this boiled egg board <laughs> for Christmas and I thought it was like weird, but also quite like practical like it's quite good but um i was kind of low-key ashamed of it bringing it back to you now i was like this is such a niche weird thing to have uh and then my housemate came back and he got the same thing for his birthday what are the chances so um get yourselves on guys they're the new craze the boiled egg board I'll just take this uh, brief interlude to uh, hydrate, so go get your water bottle right now. I'll wait. Cheers. Got it? Okay. Water break. Success. You smoke too much and you drink too much. But as long as you can get back to home base. Absolutely scoffed that lunch. I've got two minutes to go and I was meant to be on it eight minutes ago, really, but it's, oh my God, I'm burping. It's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna get indigestion, oh God. Mics and cameras are muted, so I could have taken my time and eat my lunch slowly, but you know what, never mind. <laughs> it's all good. I just finished the webinar. It was really good. It made me feel a lot more confident about the fact that I want to go work abroad more. Obviously I've done Camp America, but I've been really toying around with the idea of teaching abroad because it's just not the traditional career path that I've been told to follow, but I don't know why I feel like I need to follow that. But anyway, I'm gonna edit an Instagram reel now on my laptop. Um, I tried editing it in app, but the Instagram reel features are horrendous. You can't even add a voiceover on it. Like ideally I just edit it on TikTok, but then you have the TikTok logos on it. and It's just not helpful. Maybe you smoke too i'm getting a headache because i'm getting stressed i just need to calm down i'm getting do you ever just get like stressed over nothing in particular because that's me right now 
I was feeling really inspired after that webinar and now I'm feeling stressed and I don't know why um, but I've just edited that reel I got really frustrated at my editing software because it wasn't working and then I got it to work so it's fine now I don't know why I'm still paranoid and worried and I've not got around to any of the work that I wanted to do today which is really annoying I think it's just time for me to go on a walk I think I should just go for a walk it's a lovely day get my feet moving and listen to some music and that might help me take my mind off everything that's going tits up today because there is a lot going tits up today. <laughs> I cannot explain to you how warm it is in the sun in my room right now. Like, I have not worn a t-shirt in this house since last summer. This is ludicrous. I do not just wear a t-shirt indoors. I have to wear like three layers. Alexa, what's the temperature? At the moment, it's 15 degrees Celsius. Tonight... Did you hear that? 15 degrees oh my god well i'm just gonna put my jacket on no coat for me and that's fine by everyone else oh god oh my god i just fell over and because it's summer of course i've got a bts summer vibes playlist on <laughs> oh god tell I'm back from my walk I did 5.12 kilometers it was really nice to be out oh the sky is so blue it was so warm I'm actually like sweating there was a moment on the walk when I was walking along a main road and I looked over to the other side of the pavement and I was like oh that looks like our friend Nathan and then I was like oh I think it is our friend Nathan and then I looked at who he was walking with and I was like oh it's my housemate Will! <laughs> so I took one headphone off and I like screamed across the road, Will! And, <laughs> and there was like three seconds there where I didn't think he'd heard and I just overtaken some people and I was like they're gonna think I'm crazy but then luckily he saw and waved. I was like oh that could have been embarrassing. Dynamite came on when I was nearly home and then I put it on repeat three more times. <laughs> It's just so good. Grammy nominated. Should have won, quite frankly, if we're honest. I should probably do something semi-productive because I'm FaceTiming my sister at six and I'm FaceTiming our other friends at seven-ish. That's my evening booked up, so I better do something, man. Main things for the day are done. I'm happy with what I've done, even though it's not what I initially intended for the day and I hope to get some actual specific uni work done. I still got other stuff done and that's productive in itself I think so I'm happy. Rings update, my move ring and exercise rings are closed and I've just got one more hour to do on my stand ring. So remember when I said I was going to do work? Well, had a bit of a crisis, started looking at moving to China in a few months. Mm, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> well, this day took a turn. <laughs> um, I think I'm just hormonal or something. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> oh, this is honestly, this is the epitome of third year. Like third year on this course is just crying and you don't know why. <laughs> I'm literally fine. Like I was crying on FaceTime to my sister then being like, I'm literally not sad. I'm just, tears are rolling down my face and I don't know why. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm literally okay. Oh God, I hate this. Um, we were just talking a lot about like, not following the like traditional career path and like going and doing your own thing. And I'm scared of being like sucked into like the corporate world and just working until I die <laughs> at the age of 20, 21. So I just want to make sure that I do things on my own terms, which can be a bit difficult. I just want to make sure that I do the things that I know I want to do. Um, and 
now I know that I will and I need to just stop worrying about it and just go and do it and like let opportunities come to me. I didn't really talking about sexism in like the workplace and I've just seen myself already at the age of 21 be passed up for things for boys who were less qualified and I just don't want to go into the world of work because I know it gets a lot worse and my sister was just confirming that it gets a lot worse. It's so frustrating because I've always been in a group of friends, I've always been the hardest worker and I've always been the highest achiever and I'm not ready to go out there and just not be that anymore because I'm a woman. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna cry again. This isn't even why I was crying just then. Christ alive. Ugh. God. This is a really realistic day in my life. <laughs> well, it's now 20 to 7, and I might be having another FaceTime call at 7, which I'll probably cry in as well. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go make some veggie spaghetti bolognese, because what cheers me up better than carbs? Literally nothing. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, crisis pasta, crisis pasta. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Get in my belly <laughs> and fix everything. <laughs> oh, oh, can you tell by the lighting? It's been a hot second, and by a hot second, I mean a hot couple of hours. <laughs> I had my dinner. It was delicious and carby and beautiful. Then we FaceTimed our friends, I say we, me and my housemate FaceTimed our friends and we were on the call for a couple of hours which was so nice to catch up and talk through some things that had been happening in everyone's lives and I am now happy to say that I am fully recovered from my <laughs> earlier mental breakdown. These things happen and sometimes you have a bit of a breakdown for no reason and you know work was piling up today, I didn't get everything done that I wanted to and it was all just a bit panicky. It was just a wobble, we all have a wobble, it's my third year, it's my last semester, it's anticipated. But I just uh, sat down on the sofa to eat a mug cake and then remembered that I had work that I had to do for my job. I ran upstairs and did that and I've got some stuff set ready to go for tomorrow too which is good. And then I was going through all the messages I missed from people and my friend had messaged me saying that the new episode of Run BTS was amazing. So I think I'm gonna get into bed and just watch that. I could stay up and do work but then I'll just be tired tomorrow so I'm not gonna do that. I've got a busy couple of days coming up and there's some work that I have to get done tomorrow for my degree that I didn't get done today because I have meetings about it the day after. Today was what it was and you know everything that happened happened for a reason and that's okay. I hope you have enjoyed coming along for this <laughs> realistic day in my life. I didn't really intend for it to be this realistic but shit hit the fan and that's what happens sometimes. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed getting a, a real view into the life of a third year. <laughs> Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please like, comment, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've got any other video ideas. You can follow me over on Instagram. My name is at Alice Preecy. And that's all I really have to say. So I'll see you next time. Okay, uh, bye. <laughs>